Welcome to Africa Info Hub. In this video we are going to talk about 10 interesting facts you did not know about Gabon. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. Gabon is a Central African country located on the Atlantic coast of Africa, bordering the Congo Brazzaville, Cameroon, and Equatorial Guinea. It is the largest country in the region. The country is characterized by its hilly terrain and abundance of lush green rainforests. It is the greatest destination to visit if you are interested in ecotourism because it is surrounded by dense woods, a huge diversity of species, unspoiled spectacular landscapes, white lovely beaches, rushing rivers, and many other natural attractions. Here are the 10 interesting facts you did not know about Gabon. Number 10. Rainforest. The vast majority of Gabon's rainforests encompass 80 to 85% of the country, with 11% of that area designated as national parks, making these parks among of the world's largest environmental preserves. Gabon's 14 national parks were all established on the same day, August 30, 2002, by the late President El Hajj Omar Bongo, who was assassinated the following year. Number 9. Coastline. This country on the west coast of Africa is located near the equator, and its border with neighboring countries measures 2,551 kilometers long and its coastline measures 885 kilometers. It is bordered on the west by the Atlantic Ocean, on the north by Equatorial Guinea and Cameroon, and on the east and south by the Republic of the Congo. As well as many minor coastal rivers such as the Nyanga and the Como, the Ogu River, which flows westward, is the primary water source for the drainage basin. Gabon has a total land area of 267,667 square kilometers, of which 257,667 square kilometers is covered by land and 10,000 square kilometers by water. Gabon's land area is somewhat smaller than the state of Colorado, as compared to the rest of the world. It has a tropical climate, which means that it is always hot and humid year-round. Number 8. Caves. Gabon is a biodiversity hotspot with a diverse range of plant and animal life. Even though tropical forest covers 85% of the country, it nevertheless conceals many mysteries. Caves that have only recently been discovered are concealed beneath the dense cover of the impenetrable rainforest, and extensive karst areas have yet to be studied. After a scientific and speleological trip led by archaeologist Richard Oslesley and a multidisciplinary scientific team began study in this coastal area of Africa, near the Fern and Vaz Lagoon, in August 2010, the mission was extended to include more than 100 people. They discover that the caves are home to cave-dwelling crocodiles, a discovery that is unprecedented in Central Africa. Gabon is home to hundreds of dolomite and limestone caves, many of which have yet to be discovered and investigated. There are so many of these caves in Gabon that people continue to come across them by accident. Because a large portion of the island is still covered by natural forest cover. Number 7. Center of Slave Trading Activity. Gabon was a major center for slave trading activity during the 19th century. Gabon's capital, Libreville, which means free town, was created by former slaves who were granted freedom. The slave trade had significant expansion only between the 1760s and the 1840s, as a result of increased demand from Brazil and Cuba during this time period. Unwanted members of their own societies, as well as prisoners of war, were dispatched down rivers and waterways to the coast, where they were gathered in temporary enclosures to await the arrival of European ships. Slave trade routes along the mouths of the Ogu River were controlled by the Arungu tribes at Cape Lopez, who established a monarchy whose strength hinged on this control. Both the Impungwe clans of the estuary, who were already prominent traders, and the Vili clans of Longo, whose activity spread throughout southern Gabon, benefited from the slave trade. It was only the Fang, who were migrating southward from Cameroon into the forests north of the Ogu, who were known to refuse to hold slaves or engage in combat to acquire them. The widespread and frequently warlike migrations of the Fang, who were numerous and warlike in their behavior, still contributed to the further destruction and dispersion of many interior peoples throughout history, particularly during the 19th century. Number 6. Culture. Gabonese mask-making and ritual face painting are important parts of the culture, and styles differ greatly between ethnic groups. Gabonese people wear masks to honor their forefathers and mothers. 
not only is the culture heavily influenced by its ethnic origin and proximity to other West African countries, but it is also heavily influenced by French rule. Gabonese culture includes dance, singing, mythology, and poetry. The traditional productions of masks, sculptures, and musical instruments show that art is a strong cornerstone of the community. Number 5. Voting is compulsory. Compulsory voting, sometimes known as required voting, is the necessity that eligible citizens register and vote in elections in some nations. Those who fail to do so without a valid reason may face penalties. According to the CIA World Factbook, as of December 2017, 21 countries, including 10 Latin American countries, have mandatory voting, with a number of those countries not implementing it. Number 4. Gorillas. Kamaya, a western lowland gorilla, was discovered by the study team in 2009. He's identifiable not just by his stature and complexion, but also by a massive scar on the right side of his face, which the study team had a glimpse of when he mock-charged the study team, banging his chest to tell the team to stay away. Gorillas can be found across Gabon's rainforest, but Longo National Park is home to the sole habituated troop, which means they are unaffected by human presence. Gabon is home to nearly all of Africa's gorilla population. Gabon has a large baboon population, accounting for 8 out of every 10 baboons in Africa. Number 3. Population. Gabon has a disproportionately young population, with 40% of the entire population under the age of 15 years. Approximately 56% of the overall population is between the ages of 15 and 64 years old. The population above the age of 65 accounts for less than 4% of the total. Number 2. Longo National Park. Longo National Park is a national park located in the western part of Gabon. It safeguards a broad range of coastal habitats, including a portion of the 220-kilometer square Agela Lagoon, which is the only large example of a typical Western African lagoon system that is preserved within a national park in Africa. Longo National Park, located between Nkomi and Dogo lagoons on Africa's western coast, is a true jewel of the African continent. Longo has been dubbed Africa's last Eden by naturalist Mike Fay, and it is here that National Geographic photographer Michael Nick Nichols captured his well-known images of hippos surfing in the water. Longo is referred to as the land of surfing hippos by both guys. There are 1,550 km square of grassland, beautiful coastline, forest, and mangroves in the park, making it a must-see destination in Gabon. A visit to Longo National Park will provide you with breathtaking views as well as the opportunity to see elephants, buffaloes, hippos, gorillas, and leopards as they go into the white sand beaches. The Longo Coast is home to the world's highest concentration and variety of whales and dolphins, second only to South Africa in terms of population and variety. The area contains more than 100 kilometers of deserted shoreline, and it is a great place to see humpback and killer whales in their natural habitat. Possibly the most picturesque area on Africa's western coast, this is the place where woods, savannas, marshes, lagoons, and ocean all come together in one place. Longo is well known across the world as a destination for record-breaking tarpon, as well as numerous other large saltwater fish. A total of more than 175 kilometers of undeveloped coastline can be found in Gabon's Longo National Park. It's often considered as one of Africa's last great coastal wildernesses, and it's easy to see why. Number 1. Name. Gabon gets its name from the Portuguese word gabao, which means cloak in English. Early explorers believed the Como River's estuary near the capital of Libreville was in the shape of a cloak because of its shape. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.